guys and welcome back and welcome to the airfield. <laughs> Not you. Well, I'll bring you in in a minute. We're at the airfield with the Audi R8 and here I am. Okay, I'll bring him in. Paul Wallace. Hello. He's back from Dubai. Welcome. Thank welcome you. home again. Thank you. I'm always giving you these welcomes. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> We've got a good, we've got a good day. We do have a very good day. Blue sky. We don't, we've just been filming a video on your channel. Yeah, we have. Uh, yeah, plug plug. Um, what we turn your, your car channel? sideways. Oh yeah, drifting my car. Yeah, but I've also got the Tesla here because I'm trying to live with an electric car for the weekend. How are you getting on? I really enjoy it. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's different. I, I wasn't expecting to because the only other experience I've had is a BMW i3. And uh, we're going well off topic here, so I'll stop talking. <laughs> we are here with the Audi R8. It's absolutely filthy, isn't it? I mean, it's not even purple chrome, which I'm sure you are all so delighted about because you don't really like the purple. It's just a really nice gloss purple at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it is. Is it time to sell the Audi R8? And this is all a topic which we've been speaking about for a while. And it's we want you guys to get involved. Oh, but we want to discuss it and just sort of see the future. See the future of RG Hamilton Racing. <laughs> just going to have a chat about 2018 and seeing what. By the end ahead. of this video, you could have sold it to me though. Because you're looking for one, aren't you? Potentially. You're looking for a spider though. Yeah, but I can make that a spider. <laughs> <Does it ring? laughs> anyway, we will have this discussion, so we'll, with no further ado, let's jump in the car and uh, have a chat. No, I can't go yet. <laughs> I've broken my jacket. <laughs> purple. Purple. <laughs> purple hoodie, mate. Purple water. Purple hoodie, purple water. <laughs> anyway, this is all because we were having a discussion earlier and we were basically just having a general chit chat. The future, what's happening, yeah, and the future of my channel, where it's going, what yeah. what things are happening. Your channel's changing up, yeah. It's everything. Everyone's in a kind of new sort of avenue, aren't they? Yeah. And I came to the idea: is it time to sell the Audi R8? Yeah. Well, we've had discussions off camera. Yeah. We've had discussions on camera. Yeah. About that you're thinking of replacing it with oh, something. There, there's, go, there's, there goes the water. There's something else. <laughs> right, put that between you. <laughs> Not like it's, it's a new conversation, if, the, if, if, that, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we've spoken about it. Um, and seeing as you're now understanding that during these months, these cars become, I wouldn't say pointless, yeah. but less relevant or less usable than some of the other cars in your driveway. You, I, cars. <laughs> Got <laughs> so many. You own a supercar, you buy it in the summer, you sort of think this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And it is, it's the best experience anyone can ever have. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, and going from the Corvette to the R8 for me was a big step in general. Yeah. Because uh, I felt like this is my first supercar. Okay. Kind of, you know, yeah. like that's what it was classified yeah. as. I thought it was a Corvette, a supercar, no one else did. I, th I thought the Corvette was a supercar. No one, trust me, you're on your own. All the winter months went on, this car has just lived in my car park. The only time. When I drive the R8, so you start it up to show off to girls. Yeah, start it. Yeah, start it up to <laughs> chat up a girl. But also, <laughs> listen to this. Look, love. And that is when she will never text me again. Yeah. So I use it to film, mm -hmm. and then apart from that, it sits at home. I haven't done many miles of this car solely because I don't. If I'm going from A to B and I go on motorways, I'll take the A45. Yeah. Or I'll take the RS3, or we get press cars these days, and it's sort of everything has led up to this point of, is it time to sell it and have a new direction? in where it's going because I was speaking about a 458 and then I think is a 458 a step too far? I still go back to the conversation that we had where I said get a C63 coupe. Yeah. Whilst you had this because sell the A45 and the R8 and hit that middle point where it's something not so outrageous that you can't drive it every day but not something that is seen or classed as a regular daily. The idea of having two cars, mixing the content up, okay. not just down to one. Yeah, yeah. So my, my, my thinking would be if I sold this to getting either I go a step further, go a step back and you get something in the sort of 60, 70 thousand pound bracket such as now the RS6. Okay. Because as people are aware, an Audi RS4 is a car which I um, well, I'm going to be buying one. I, I loved yeah, it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It yeah, was so cool. Yeah. It was incredible, and it was. It just it, it does everything. I haven't driven everything. the RS4, but I've had a lot of time in the RS5. And you know what? And, I, and I know what the dynamics of the car. So the RS4 
for potentially specking one up, etc. Might not arrive until middle of next year. Okay. So there, there is a chance that there is a gap between that. And I had a mad idea the other day. I was like looking at other things and other things like that, and something to fill the gap between then. Is it something? What in an, R, an RS6? Or just could, any, in, in, in that bracket, four five eight is a step forwards. And, is it a step forward? So that's the thing. Are people yeah, more relating? This up, is the world. Up, that, this is the world that we live in, being yeah. surrounded by a continuous stream of fast, hyper supercars that are superseding their current models. Yeah. Like. Where does it go? Like, how fast do we want cars to be? I know. In my eyes, a 458 is an upgrade to this car because it's a Ferrari. It's a Italian V8 that screams. It's a car that has F1-derived technology. Yeah. And Ferrari looked at the, to the 458 to build the La Ferrari. Like, there is something about that car that's so special. But on paper, it's not an upgrade. It's a downgrade. To this. And that's the thing, isn't it? And, and a big part of my channel is drag racing. <laughs> yeah, four five eight would be pretty. You need. I need a car which I'm going to take to drag races. Can you imagine? Okay, going back from the four five eight, which is about 150 grand and potentially going up even more in value. Yeah. Or you go to a car that is a 60 grand Audi RS6. That thing is so tunable that you can get it up to 900 brake horsepower. The gearbox can take the power. The exhaust systems that you can get will be insane. Mm. Well, I love the RS4, so it's Drop all, it a little bit. All, everything is kind of... Like, you could mod an RS6 to beat every car that you've lost to in the drag race series is in this. I mean, that's mental, isn't it? For 60K. And people love them. I love people them. Love, I, I love them. There's a guy that lives close to me. He's got an all-blacked one, and he just doesn't have a front number plate. And it is the meanest-looking car And you can And you can do all sorts of things to them as well. Yeah, like Lambo doors. <laughs> Everyone, slide into Archie's DMs on Instagram with Auto Trader links to cars that are between 60 and 80 grand. Yeah, and comment below. Oh yeah, all comment below. We need everyone yeah. to we need everyone to interact. And I don't just make up these videos for the sake of making up a video. I make <laughs> into the new year, having the channel as more could it be restructured? Could Is there people that want to see different content? Are there people that want to see, like, like you say, tunable content? I can't really tune this car because it's kind of got to the point of if you're going to do it, you need a supercharger. The videos that I did on my BMW M3 and my Lamborghini Huracan, whilst I did some fun road trips in the Lamborghini Huracan and had an absolute blast, the M3 is as popular it's, it's, as, yeah. as the Huracan. Back to the question of every time you buy a car, in the supercar world, there is going to be something newer, something faster, something better. It, Where are you at in terms of what you want to do? Like, my head kind of explodes every single day. There is no getting away from the fact that that Lago sits there on the pedal stool as the one car that I will one day own. The thing that comes with buying that car is I need a garage. And I also need a second car because you certainly cannot daily that. What about other... Uh, yeah. Other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you 2017 Nissan GTR. Yeah. Thought about CCC3 coupes because I think they're very cool and I think you can mod them to hell. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But like, even thought about crazy stuff like going for a LP570 Superleggera, or even a Mark One Superleggera, or even a Mark One Gallardo. <laughs> <laughs> so like I mentioned, this is just not a video I really planned to be making, but I just wanted to make it so you guys can get involved in the whole discussion and what you want for the future of the channel. Is it the R8? Do you want the R8 to stay? In terms of the R8, I've spoken to you guys before about that the Audi Sport Performance parts would come and they would go on the car, so it would look different next year and uh, the wrap could change, etc. Or what we've spoken about, 
do I go a step forwards and go to something like a 458 and stretch me financially? Or do I go a step back and uh, things be a little bit more relaxed and go for something like an Audi RS6 or a C63 AMG, etc. Like I've mentioned, I want to buy the new Audi RS4, which is probably, that would arrive in the middle of next year. So there's gonna be a space in between. But, you know, I'm not forced to sell anything. I don't need to sell the R8. It's just a discussion which we can all have on this channel. So let me know what you think. Just put those comments down below. Do you want it to stay? Do you want something else to come? I wanna make unique content that is fully the plan so uh yeah it's going to be a lot of fun 2018 i can't believe 2017 is already over it's been unbelievable and thank you all so much for the support it's it's been crazy anyway don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all very soon